everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. I'm standing in my family room today, getting ready to start on my third voiceover episode. For those of, for those of you who don't know, I am a blogger. And I've been blogging for over a year. But I've only had my YouTube channel open for about a month and a half. So I made a lot of crafts before I opened my YouTube channel. And I didn't video those crafts. So I've written about them, but I didn't video them. So I have so much to share with you guys, so I thought I'm gonna try to do some voiceover videos. So that's what I've been doing. I will link episodes one and two in the description down here. And I'm gonna tell you all about this wreath today. It's a 16 inch deco mesh and ornament and Christmas ornament wreath. As you see, I have it hanging on my family room door. My dogs go in and out this door. For those of you who don't know, I'll give you some, I'll show a picture of my dogs. I've got two Newfoundlands and a golden retriever, and they are in and out of this door all the time. So I wanted something all the time. So I wanted something that would be sturdy and not be banging against the door. This is heavy enough that it sits nicely against the door. Also, I want to tell you about this over the door wreath hanger. I think you all have seen, I have another one for all the other times of the year. This one has snowflakes on it. So I'll see if they still sell it at Grandin Road and I'll give you a link for that. I will also tell you in the voiceover about all the other ways that I've used the ornament garland that I found at Walmart, by the way, from Porch I've used Show you all that in the voiceover part. So I'm going to quit yammering on here and move on into that part, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Alrighty, let's get started. As I mentioned, I made this wreath last year after I had discovered this ornament garland at Walmart and had utilized it for my banister decor. I wanted to pull the same sort of look into some other decor accent pieces, so I thought a wreath would complete this little task nicely. Last year they sold this garland in six foot lengths, but this year they only had it in eight and a half foot lengths. I did purchase three boxes of the newer length this year. Here are a couple of projects for which I utilize that longer length garland in this year's decorations. Outside I attached it to the pine garland that goes over and around our front door and also I attached it to the large pine wreath that I have hanging on the front door. I attached the ornament garland onto both pieces by utilizing the sprigs of the pine garland much like I do the chenille ties on one of my work wreaths. Now back to the wreath that I made last year. Here are the supplies that I used. A 16 inch work wreath with the chenille ties already installed. A strand of ornament garland. Two rolls of 18 inches by 12 feet deco mesh in burgundy and khaki. It almost looks like burlap. One roll of coordinating wired craft ribbon. Six gold and pined Christmas picks. Three little whimsical owls. One 20 count LED battery operated light set. A hot glue gun and a few pipe cleaners. I started with the meshy burlap. I attached it to the work wreath starting on the outer ring. I made large loops between each twist tie. They were about 8 to 10 inches long, and I worked my way around the entire ring, finishing by piggybacking the last gathered tuff into the same chenille tie in which I started. Then I transitioned to the inner ring and did the same thing around the entire inner ring. I then started to add the gold and cream ribbon. I started at one of the chenille ties on the inner ring, attaching into the chenille tie, piggybacking it right on top of the meshy burlap. I continued around the entire wreath working from the inner to the outer chenille ties. Next up, the ornament garland. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to manipulate that ornament garland into place, but it was much easier to accomplish than I feared. All I did was get it out of the box, spread it out, and then laid it around the wreath. The ornaments were attached to a rather sturdy, wrapped stem that I could bend and manipulate any way I chose. 
I used all of the inner chenille ties to secure it onto the wreath. Next, I made a bow. I will put my craft bow tutorial down in the description for you. I chose a place to put it on the wreath and tied it on using the pipe cleaner that I had used to tie the bow shut. I then started to place the gold and pine picks and the owls. Being a symmetrical person, I admit that I did fiddle around with them a good bit before I got them where they look good to my eye. I hot glued them into place and I also hot glued some of the ornaments together. They were flipping and flopping around a little too much. As I mentioned in my introduction, this wreath hangs on our family room door that leads out to the backyard, so it is constantly in use. Gluing some of the ornaments together assured me that everything would be nice and secure. The last thing that I did was to add that strand of white lights snugging and hiding the battery pack in one of the mesh loops. I was ready to hang it up. Here it is in the evening hours with those pretty lights glowing and shimmering. A couple of final thoughts before I close this little video out. Since Walmart isn't selling the 6 foot length of the garland any longer, but if you wanted to utilize the 8.5 foot option, the garland is easily separated and you could cut it into sections and use them to pull other aspects of your room decor together. For instance, I used some of the garland that was left over from my projects to make this lantern centerpiece that sits on my hearth within a grouping. I also utilized a portion to add to a spray that I made for the banister's bullnose. And finally, I've used a little section that was left over from the outdoor projects in my little red wagon that sits on the front porch. Finally, I have really enjoyed working with this ornament garland by augmenting some of my existing decorations and then creating new pieces that have turned out prettier than I could have imagined. The white lights just reflect beautifully off of the different color ornaments and every project for which I've used them looks fuller and that much prettier because of their addition. This little wreath was no exception. Funny how a quick trip into Walmart looking for one thing presented me with a fantastic new and different accent piece. It has been challenging and fun too. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.